All right, welcome back everyone in the new video tutorial about advanced session networking. In this video, we're going to build a little menu navigation th stuff because we lacked that in the previous one. We had some stuff overlapping with each other, etc. And we want proper navigation from one window to another. And actually, before we do that, I'm going to tell you guys what our, where are we and what, what are we going to do in the future videos. So I'm going to make a small to-do list, notepad, I'm going to open that. I'm going to pass that just so we can keep track of what's going on here. So what do, what do we want to do? Now we want to do menu navigation. Next thing, next thing on the list is set server name and get server info. But that's basically going to be, we get the name, we get the number of player, we get maybe the ping, and we tell that to everyone searching for that server. Then we're going to build the multiplayer lobby logic. So basically, that is when, you, when you're waiting in the lobby and you see players coming, players and trees with their name, their color is being displayed. We have some stuff going on, so player and trees surely player states but that's for after no we're going to need that player states that's going to all the information of the players and afterwards we're going to set some player name stuff player will be able to set their names we're going to use some save objects to set to store that stuff and the states we're already going to have the player states so after that we're going to do the fact that players can change their color, change color stuff. So the multiplayer lobby logic is going to be built based on what we need after that. So we're going, that is going to be needing every, to be able to hold this, this information, the, the color, the names of the players and such. So after that, we're going to do a proper ready button so when everyone is ready, the host is going to be able to launch the game. And finally, we're going to do a proper disconnect system. So we're going to try to handle when player leaves, join and such. Leaves, join, holding a player list and such things. We are likely going to have some things uh, going in between these steps, but that's basically the idea for now. So. I'm going to close that. I'm going to. I'm already on our project actually. So a little menu navigation stuff. So we we basically want to go back to our widget. We want to hide that window. It's going to be hidden. So if I play, we don't see anything. I'm going to try these things with one player and. Uh, large size window so I can see what's going on actually not actually not since I want to be able to to always join every see everything with four windows I'm going to build the logic with that so if I press browse online game what, what is going to happen oh yeah well uh, I uh, I make uh, I made the, the window hidden and I never said it's going to be visible so nothing is going to work so how do we want to handle that that's pretty simple. I'm going to do, I'm not sure that's the right way to do, but that's how I'm going to do it. So in my utilities folder, so you can create that wherever you want. Once more, I'm going to build a new blueprints enum, and I'm going to call that enum outgame focused window. And I'm going to have one entry for each, for each window I want to have in my menu. So I want the main menu. I want to have this, the browse server, browse server window, and I want the multiplayer lobby window, and that's going to be for the future. And what we're going to do here, well, we're going to do something dirty, at least not really optimized, but since we're on the menu and nothing is really displayed, that doesn't matter if we do something a bit not optimized in matter of performances, if that allow us to go faster in our pro pro prototyping uh, stuff. So what's that? That's the main menu box. So I selected our box uh, containing our buttons. 
and that is going to be hidden by default. The, the throwbar is hidden by default, that's perfect. The server entry box, we're going to bind its vi visibility. And we're going to say, hey, if our owner is focused, hey, yeah, well, I, I wanted to, we need to make a variable that holds the information of where the controller, of on what window our controller is focused. So we're going to create a variable of the type of the enum I just, we just created. So out game controller window focused. And we want a window, a enum out game focused window we want to compile. By default, we want the main menu window to be focused. That's perfect. And actually, I, my content browser it all, it is always overlapping with my button, and I can't I can't click on them. That's pr pretty annoying. So, when the player is eating that host button, we want our window focus to be set on multiplayer lobby. When the player is hitting his, his search button, we want the focus to be set on, well, the browse server window, basically. And we will implement a back button to make the, pip, to make the players able to go back, obviously. So we're going to add a button to that server entry box that is going to be oh actually when we're going to add widgets child widget when we're going to add server entries to that uh, box uh, this one is going to be between server name it's not going to be on the bottom of that box so we're going to do some little tricks to make that work actually how are we going to do that well we're going to put that box inside another box that's a little since we we can't we can't uh, dynamically at least I, I don't know how to dynamically change the position of a widget inside a box but that doesn't really matter since I know the trick to make it work so I need a box exactly like that one but a little wider to contain the the button so I want the box to be sized 50, 550 580 we want that box to be inside that one. We want that first box to be actually the box that will L all the... So we're going to remove the binding we just created. because We're going to set that as visible. Don't miss that, guys. I So I put our previous server entry box inside a new box. So I set back its visibility, its visibility to visible. Because the, the parameters that, that are taken into account are the one of the parent ch children parent widget so the visibility of that box is going to be taken into account and not the the one and not the server entry box so we're going to call that main main server box uh, actually we don't need that as a variable i'm going to replace replace that real quick reset that position okay i didn't set its anchor so I want that in the middle of my screen. We have that button that is beside the box containing, well, actually not. What? Oh, yeah, we need that button to be at the bottom. The button that's which, that is going to, to hold, to trigger the cancel stuff, excuse me, is going to be at the bottom of our children list in the main server box. So. And that is going to be called the cancel the button cancel. And basically, what what that button is going to do is when we click that, that is going to get our owner. That is going to say, "Hey, owner, your focus is now the main menu button." So that's not correct if we consider there are several steps of menu between the browsing server and the main menu but for now that's perfect that's what we want so now that we have everything set up i mean when i press a button i say what window is focused we can basically build the the visibility logic inside our art game menu so we're going to say hey that is only visible so we're going to bind the visibility we're going 
we're actually going to say, hey, this is bind to our previous visibility, the previous function we created. We're going to go to go to that function, and we're going to say, hey, if if this window focused is equals uh, what is what's that? That that's our server window. So if the focus window is browse server, B click, I summon the branch. So if that's right, we want that to be visible. If that's wrong, I copy pasted the return node. If that's wrong, we want that to be hidden. So easy easy setup. Uh, we basically want that for each window. So we don't have our multiplayer lobby window right now, but afterwards we're going to have it. So main menu box, visibility bind, create binding. We're going to copy paste everything we treated. I'm not sure if we can copy paste the return node, so I just don't do it. I'm just not doing it. So copy pasting stuff. If it's if that focus window is the main menu window, I want the main menu window to be visible. If I don't. I want the main menu window to be hidden. So I picked the main menu box that contains all buttons. So let's see if that works. If I hit play, if I hit play, we are focused on the main window. If I click on host multiplayer, everything is going to be reset. So since my player controller respawned on the reset of the level, the variable holding the window focus resets as well and we're still focused on the main menu. So, and if this one is, browse on, is browsing games, it seems to work. So it's searching for sessions. We have a sessions, a session, we can join it. If we hit cancel, with, we still have that throwber. So I'm going to, to disable the throwber. Uh, actually not, I'm not going to disable the throwber right now, we don't care. So can, can I browse game? Yep, that's all. It already searched, so it gives me the same results. Oh yeah. Since we're going back and forth in our menu, it, it's creating a, a new button again because we're not clear clearing the list of button when we press cancel. So that doesn't matter for now. So that that's going to work everywhere. I suppose I can still join. I can still join everywhere. And yep. So we are going, we are just going to clear that stuff when we leave the browsing server window, just to make sure our navigation is properly set up between win menu window is properly set up. So if I hit cancel, what do I want to do? So we want to go back to our event graph. If I hit cancel, I want to get our server entry box we want to get that actually we first thing we uh, actually we're going to remove all children can we do that remove child can we get the child can we get get child at can we get all child can we can't we just remove everything well if we can't do that what we're going to do is to simply keep a track of that entries we are creating. So in our player controller, we're going to go on our... When we create server entries, we're going to store that widget and we're going to say, hey, so I'm promoting that to a variable, just I'm deleting that just to have a variable of the good type right away. I'm going to say that's an array. And we're going to say out game controller server entries widgets server uh, server list. And we're going to save to compile. We're going to get that server list and we're going to add to that the widget we just created. We're going to add that after that. And what do we want to do now? We want to clear to delete to delete everything that is on this array when we hit 
that cancel button. So instead of just calling that, we're going to call an event on our controller that is that is going to handle that stuff. So on our controller, we're going to have a new stuff called. Well, actually, we're just going to build a custom event that removes all all the server entries. So remove server entries. Pretty much easy setup. We want that to be run server, even if it's always going to be run server since a widget is going to call that. We're going to call that delete server entries like usual. And what's that going to do? That is going to get our server list to loop through it and to say, hey, for each of these server lists we created, we want to remove them from parent that is sub supposed to delete them, I think. So I'm going to save. Uh, we're going to add here delete server entries. So how, how did we call that? Well, remove server entries. And we're going to see if that works. Did we add it? Yes, we did. Hit play. Simple mistakes, always checking. So host multiplayer game. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Host multiplayer game. Browse online games. Do it again. So we have two servers. We have two servers. This one is going to cancel. It's going to browse online games. It's going to search again, I believe. We can't know since we didn't disable that throber. That's something we need to work on. To work on. So yep, the the clearing the clearing stuff is obviously working. And. That's, I suppose that's going to wrap up that video. So I'm going to close that. I hope you go, you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to, hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.